Well, happy days, my fantastic numismatic friends from Master Temples here with the big daddy album. I've got something to put in this, okay, and I'm just going to show you it now. Okay, I've got a few other things to share with you. Okay, I took the coins back to another post office and they said, we've got some of these. Look at them. These are the brand spanking new B one pound coins. They're absolutely fantastic. Let's open this up and get into it because I know I need one to pop into the Big Daddy album. Let's have a look at some of these. 20 quids worth of absolutely spanking new one pound coins with the B's on and the King's Head there. 2023. Wonderful stuff. Is it a lefty one? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But that is epic. What do you think of this? I know, uh, I think I've seen Bungle. He's got some as well. So they are definitely coming out up here in the north. All right. Uh, have you found one of these yet? Let me know. Okay. Now, I'm going to give one away as well. If you want to win one of these, just leave me a comment down in the uh, in, in the comment section. And be subscribed and like the video and all that lot. And I'll pick one at random. And we'll ship one of those out to you. Okay. One of these... One of these fantastic pound coins, okay. Right, so let's get this into the Big Daddy album. Do you know, I haven't shown you this for ages. I have got the 20p's right there and the folder has ripped off, so I might need another one. Right down at the bottom, we've got the brand new Puffin down there. I didn't find that in change, by the way. I just I purchased it. The Pierce de Resistance is right there, the undated mule 50p. I have found one of those in the wild before. But I sold it, and then I had to buy another one, which is crazy, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I love it. it I want to know, because uh, I have, I do like 20Ps. Is there any 20Ps that are missing, right? So if you have a look there now, you can see a whole range there. No, it's not easy with the glare. And then a whole range there. And then some there. We've got the the rally car. I'm not bothered about dates or air mint marks or anything like that. Just designs. The uh, St. Eleanor one there, I think it is. And then we've got a... A uh, sheep on there, you know, you know skull, keys, uh, flowers, referendum and all that, lot sporty stuff, dolphins, uh, a rabbit from the Isle of Man, and the puffin from the UK. Okay, fantastic stuff. Then we've got the 10 peas. Okay, everyone knows what these look like, but they can't find them because they're like uh, hen's teeth, aren't they? We've got 10 peas. That's just a, this is just like a, another collection I have. Uh, and we've got 19s, lots of lots of 2019s there. Um, wow, they are so scarce and ridiculous price. I need to actually get the definitive one. Which is it now? I can't remember. Is it maybe some floral or fauna? Knowing the king. Anyway, we get on to the 50p's. There we go, 50p wise. All right, we've got Kew Gardens. You can't see because it's right down at the bottom, but I'll show you now. Just there, Kew Gardens there. That's the very first Kew Gardens I ever found. And I uh, till raided it from a kebab shop, which is very nice. All right, and then we've got the EEC table and chairs there. You know, uh, so so that's the 50Ps. Now, most of these 50Ps went into circulation. Let me zoom out just a tad so you can see some of the action. There we go. Right. So you can see that these all went into circulation. So that's page two, page three, page, get off, get off without kicking the camera. Page four. Yeah. Okay. 2017. But down at the bottom. So we've got Snowman and Gruffalo. And Stephen Hawking, they didn't go into circulation. Okay, they're 2018s and 2019s. Okay, and then 2019, it went really bonkers for not putting Alt into circulation. So all on this page, apart from Brexit, I believe, didn't go into circulation, even though I have found uh, Britannia with the um, do for you do on the, there. We've got the Kew Gardens 2019 reissue as well. And the 2020, I think, 2020... Olympic Games, which never happened because we all went mental into lockdown, so we had to get another one in 2021. Okay, and then this page never really went into circulation. I think all of those, apart from diversity, were NAFCs. And then we go again, that's 21. Uh, what we got on there, which is not in circulation. Okay, so one of these two went in circulation and so did Pride. Uh, King Charles's memorial to his mother, and then the coronation 50p's down at the bottom. We've got the Star Wars ones there as well, and then almost another full set of coins. We've obviously got the circulated, whichever one it is, uh, salmon. 
that went in. But all the rest didn't. So is the Royal Mint just making tokens? Okay. Is the Royal Mint making tokens? Right, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Because most of those coins now are NIFCs, which is not very good. We need to be finding them, don't we? We need to be finding them. So this is my one pound collection. I've a, 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 a selection of it right so we start off and it's just all the different designs really no dates or anything anything like that so the first one there uh, and if you want to know about these i did make a video on the one pound coin down here is a very special one we have got a genuine royal mint um trial piece trial one pound coin i think me and bez once tested it with a laser zapper okay so and that's a good that's a good one that's a slight error one pound coin because it's got a little bit of a collar do for you do there last round pound coin there as well which never went into circulation which i'm going to talk to you about in a moment but let's get the bumbly bee into the into the the wallet there we go push it in push it in close the tab maybe close the tab later and there we go another spot filled hopefully hopefully we'll get some more in a few more years time of different ones right let's get rid of this okay there's some two pound coins at the back of it uh anyway where am i gonna put that put you put you anywhere you want get the, get the album okay so remember we've got that okay uh a few weeks ago remember uh a video where i i um helped my little nephew out jojo he he i, I filled out all his um all his uh, 50p's apart from one or two which were pretty scarce and i don't have duplicates of but he did eventually give me something right he went to the shop got some change this is genuine and he came up to me uh, a week or so later he says uncle daniel i know you like coins i have got this one uh would you like it uh, 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 here, here it's a gift for helping me out okay so he got this now let's have a look it is a Commonwealth Games. And I told him how special it was, and I told his, his folks how special it was, and I didn't want it, you know, I didn't want to take it off him, but he says, no, no, you have helped me, so you can have it. And it's a absolutely immaculate Commonwealth Games. Look at that. He found this in his change, and he gave his, his drunkle Daniel it. So thank you, Jojo, look at that. Probably better than the one I have in my collection. That I mean, it's... It's perfect, isn't it? Not a mark on it. They're in and out of focus, like, but there's not a mark on that. Wow. So cheers, Joe. Right, so a thing I bought, you've seen this on the channel a few with a while back, okay? And I wanted to share something with you, right? I just want to put that down without getting paint on it, because I do some painting. I also got a new brush today as well, but that's from another channel for another day, okay? Right, so you've seen this before. This is a Royal Mint uh, Baby's First Coins journal pack. I bought it, and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it will be in a video somewhere along the lines. It's absolutely in pristine condition. Okay, never been used. It's still in its original case. Okay, but then at the back, you have, you have some very special coins. So we've got the 2016... Britannia, they're all 2016 obviously we have got the, sh uh, the last round pound as well and the shield 50p, okay the shield 50p didn't go into circulation and neither did the one pound coin and I'm not sure how scarce the rest of the do for dos are, we know that the Britannia is quite scarce okay, so there we go it's the shield 50p, not the last round pound coin, do apologise, and it's that one that is very very scarce and could fetch a premium of about £30 on the secondary market so so could the shield this shield could fetch you around about 60 up to 60 anyway i've got a question for you because i went into an antique shop and you saw me going uh, i went into an antique shop and i bought i think it was a 2011 coin album coin set well there was one next to it and i owned an ad and a couple of weeks later i went back and it's still there still there 2016 definitive coin set includes eight definitive coins okay 2016 so it'd be the same as this okay but it's the it's the you know the the collector's version okay so that's for somebody that's just been born okay and this is for the normal p well, normal but they're already born people like like us lot okay as old as it's got a little bit of writing on there, okay? Uh, Me Egan, whatever it is, 15th, whatever, okay? Which which 
probably did lower the price of it. Okay, and then we go into this, and we've got the same coins on there, the 2016 Shield and the Britannia, just there, uh, like, so that's fantastic, isn't it, you know? So that one coin alone would be worth between, what do we say, 50, 60 quid, okay? And I have seen about 30, 40,000 of these made. Likewise, with the Shield uh, Pound coin as well. All right, but, you know, it's got all its stuff with it, a little bit of little bit of bump there, nice big booklet that comes along with it, talking about all the coiny stuff. All right. So my question to you guys is, if I was to sell one of these, not saying I'm going to, but if I was to sell one of these, which one would you keep and which one would you sell? Because they're both the same. It's obviously a lot more uh, background info on the, the coin album itself. But this one, I don't think they made as many because of the because of the the, the, the the design of it, really. Okay, so which one would you keep? Okay, and which one would you sell? And how much would they sell for? This one cost me forty pound. Okay, I paid thirty nine pound ninety nine pence for this twenty sixteen definitive coin set, and I had to nip myself because I know this can go for around about hundred quid, maybe something like that. But there, that's what we do. I'm still after a 2018 set, but uh, hey oh. Uh, let me know, folks, what your thoughts are on that and that and that. And thanks to Joe for that. And if you want one of those, let me know down in the comments and we'll sort you something out at some point. I'll pick one of you guys out at random. Okay, so until next time, take care, you send, stay safe, happy days. I'm going to go play with a paintbrush now.